everyone. Welcome back to The Ladies Guide. I'm Deanna Tikhanov. I'm a women's health nurse practitioner. And on today's episode of the birth control series, I'm going to be talking with you guys about the birth control patch. So on one of my first videos, I went into the birth control pill, the traditional birth control pill that we all have probably heard of at one point or another that has two hormones in it, progestin and estrogen. So the pill is something that has to be taken every day and the patch has the same hormones as the pill, but instead of doing something every day, it's every week. So the patch itself is really small. It's a little square about this tall in size, if you can kind of see that. And it kind of um, has the look of a band-aid, like a small square band-aid. And there's different places on the body that you can place it. So it could be put on the arm. It could also be put on the abdomen, on the upper abdomen. It could be put on the thigh or on the butt. Those are generally the places where it's recommended and always says it on uh, the instructions on the packaging when you get the birth control patch. So the birth control patch, when it is used correctly and changed every single week, so that's how it's done. If you place it on, let's say you place it on your arm on a Sunday, next Sunday you would remove it and you could place it somewhere else in your body. It is important to rotate spots, whether it's your arms that you prefer or different spots on your body where it's recommended because the main side effect is really skin irritation from the adhesive of the patch itself. So it's something that um, you just alternate spots each week and when you're using it correctly, changing it every single week. And then in the fourth week, you do not put a new patch on and that's the week you'll get your period. And after those seven days have completed that you have been patch free, you, ins you apply a new patch onto your body. And when you do that correctly, it's about 98 to 99% effective um, with typical use, meaning if you forget to take off the patch after um, the seven days to put a new one on, or you forget to put a new one on after having it off for seven days, this is where there is risk of it decreasing in effectiveness and it becomes around 94 to 96% effective, give or take. So it is important that it's used correctly to maximize its effectiveness. But you know, for some, it's very easy to just change something every week versus have to remember to take something every day. And the nice thing too is it doesn't have to be at the same exact time. Let's say for example, you put on a patch at 12 p.m. on a Sunday. You don't have to remove it at 12 p.m. the following Sunday. As long as it's removed and a new patch put on in that day, you are covered against pregnancy. So for some women, this is a great option that if you like the benefits of the pill, so being, you know, regulating your cycles, helping with cramps, shortening your periods, helping with PMS symptoms, these are all things that the pill can help improve. The patch has those same benefits with just the difference being instead of doing something every single day at the same time, you're changing a patch every week, which for some is much easier to do. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what about bathing, swimming? So actually with the patch, you can swim, bathe, shower, do everything, get, get wet and be okay with keeping the patch on. It doesn't decrease its effectiveness. Um, for some women, they don't like the idea that the patch is visible. There are places on your body though that you can place it that are uh, more private. So that might be something that would help you to, to stick with it. Um, but like I mentioned, the main side effect with the patch is skin irritation. So sometimes women just over time don't really care for that and that might be a reason Reason why they stop but as I mentioned the benefits of the patch mean regulating your cycles and shortening your periods and decreasing your cramping is usually why women do like it of course besides the benefit of pregnancy prevention being the main reason why um, patch the patch might be used so Again, the patch has both progestin and estrogen. So as I mentioned before in other videos, if you have any contraindications to estrogen, being um, if you have a history of migraines with aura diagnosed by your primary doctor or neurologist, or if you have any history of blood clots, stroke, any type of personal cancer history, any history of smoking, and particularly if you're over 35, 
These would all be reasons why the patch might not be a good option for you, particularly because of the estrogen in it. And check out my other videos, which go into progestin only methods that would be safer in those situations. So definitely something to consider. But if you do not have those medical conditions, then you might be a great candidate for the patch. And if you think the idea of taking a pill every day sounds really annoying and difficult, but the doing something every week might sound better, then the patch might be something you'd want to consider. So of course, as I always mention, this is not replacing a healthcare provider in person to review your personal medical history and just go over what your goals are with pregnancy or with your periods, you know, reviewing how your periods are with your provider is important to kind of help determine which birth control method could give you the most benefit from your cycles, depending on if you have problems with heavy periods or if you have problems with your mood during your period, things like that can help determine which method would be best for you and if the patch would be a good option for you. So with the patch, once you stop it, it's absolutely possible to get pregnant again. So there's no delay to fertility and it's something that you can just pick up the um, patches at the pharmacy and pick up the box. Each box is a month worth. So you would need 12 boxes for the whole year. Um, depending on your insurance, things like that, you may be able to pick up all of them at once or sometimes only a few at a time. So this is just another option that's available to you to use. It's something that is very accessible and, and easy on your end or you might look at it as like oh that's still kind of a lot i don't know if i could remember to do something every week and that's okay it's about finding what's right for you and being honest with yourself and comfortable with the method that you decide on so crucial crucial and i believe that you have so much more power over your bodies and i think us women let ourselves have and it's important that you have a voice when you're talking with your provider to decide on a method that you really feel good about and not feel pushed into at all of course so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe below and check out my instagram it's at underscore the ladies guide for more information it's a great way for us to interact and for you to give me feedback any topics you want me to cover definitely let me know i'm very open to that and, and would love to hear what you guys are interested in learning more about uh, i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video <laughs>